Taggart's been awesome. Um, obviously, the expectations being at Florida State University, wanting to get this back where it needs to be. Uh, so we're uh, all gas, no brakes. So we're uh, we're fourth off, fourth auto right now. Excited about the guys; they're eager, and um, you know everybody's everybody's working really hard to get where we need to be. What's your thoughts on where the offense stands here after two days of uh, ball practice? Uh, it's you know it's a work in progress. You know we're trying to get a lot of reps. This will be the first day we've got everybody back together. Uh, so that'll be good. Now the guys were towards the end of practice the last couple of days been pretty worn out, a lot of cramping, and that's that's normal. Just getting back into football shape, especially with the tempo offense. So, um, but I think mentally, I think the carryover from the spring through the summer, back into fall camp, I think the guys are mentally sharp. Um, so now we're going to start putting a little bit on them. It's going to make it a little bit tough on them, but that's going to pay off later. We we'll get a lot of rest and a lot of things throughout fall camp. From a pace standpoint, where are you at with regards to where you want to be? We're not where we want to be right now. Um, and we got we got a lot of guys getting a lot of different reps. We got three different quarterbacks. They're all getting reps. Um, so once we really hone in on knowing exactly what we're going to be doing on a daily basis, like we're installing a bunch of stuff right now, so you got a little bit of thinking. That's natural. And um, but the guys from a tempo standpoint, they're they're coachable. Um, I've really been impressed with the offensive line. Um, they're not in shape where they can. Their mind is telling them to do it, but their bodies won't let them right now. Uh, but you can see it on tape. They're trying to change gears, get lined up, all that good stuff. So we'll keep coaching and keep working and keep getting better at it. What are you looking for from your quarterbacks in your offense? Production. Bottom line. What's your process when you get a new job? Do you go and watch film of the previous season to see who's on the roster, who you're going to work with? Uh, not when I get the job, but previous to, you know, you know, Coach Tagger and I going back and forth about the process of him, um, you know, wanting to offer me the job, all that stuff. So, of course, you look at recruiting, what they've done, look at the guys on the roster, who's going to be back. Quarterback situation, obviously, is a huge deal. Um, looking at the schedule, you know, who's on the schedule, what, what it looks like. So all those things play a part in it. Um, but not everything looked really good. They got good players here. We got to obviously, you know, get things fixed up front so we can execute the way we need to. And um, Coach Clements is here and we'll be able to get that done. And you've been around a lot of great offenses, obviously, in your career. These receivers, it seems like it's a pretty deep group. Is it one of the deepest you've worked with? From a deep standpoint, uh, we're really not where we should be right okay. now from a deep standpoint just our scholarship numbers in general. But we got really, really good ones. And um, I think from an entire skill, you know, if you put all the skill together, it may be one of the best skilled guys that I've ever been around. We talk about running backs, tight ends, receivers all together. Um, we got really, really good skills, so it's on us to put in a good position to make plays. How important was it to have Coach Clemens come here to coach the offensive line, giving you guys familiarity with each other in the same team? Extremely important. Extremely important, and it was important to Coach Taggart as well. And that was one of those going through the process is, hey, you know, we both were agreeing on if we're going to do this thing that we want to make sure that we get Coach Clements here uh, because our offense is so tied into, you know, everybody calls them RPOs, but, you know, being able to run and throw off of things. So being able to have that and uh, do what we do on offense, and a guy who understands it, a guy who understands the adjustments, what needs to be done, needs to, uh, the personnel, what we need uh, from the offensive line standpoint. So all that tied in with the run game, with the running backs, and the tight ends is huge. With the offensive line, what was one of the top priorities um, focused on when you guys got here? Um, mental toughness, physical toughness. You know, I think I think there's some talent there. Um, you know, it's with anything. If you if you don't have a lot of success, then you, you kind of lack in confidence at certain times. And so we got a coach Clements is unbelievable about really driving success into those guys and making them believe in themselves. And, um, and he's done it for a, a long, long time. And, and he's got those guys believing. And uh, he's not going to degrade them, talk down to them. Um, and he's going to make sure that those guys are playing at a high level and really believe in themselves. And uh, we've got some talent, and we'll, we'll get there. When the offense gets into a rhythm, what is an ideal tempo for you? I don't have a, you know, you see on ESPN guys put numbers to how quick they're snapping the ball, all of that. I never look at any of that. We never you know, chart any of that, stat any of that. Um, to me, you know, you can see that on tape. Are the guys getting the ball inside? Are the guys getting the signal? All of that's on film. So we can coach all of that on film. I don't try to look at a clock and compare ourselves to anybody else. Uh, we know how it should be, and we've got to get our guys to, to execute at that level. What's it been like working with James Blackman, and just what do you want him to work on, work with him on in the future? Uh, James is an awesome kid. I mean, y'all know him. Um, been here for a while. Unbelievable kid. He's uh, the thing that I love about James is he's the same every single day. Uh, and that's what you have to be, as a, especially playing the quarterback position, but just being consistent on a daily basis. And he comes out here, the team loves him. Um, off season, off the field, 
everything he does, he's the same way. And so James just got to continue to progress in the offense and um, really got to think like I think. And, and once a quarterback gets on that level where they're thinking like I think, they know exactly where the ball should go each and every time. And they're not having to process as much, they're more reacting. Um, then you're, you know, you're playing pretty high level and that's what we're going to get. On game day, why do you like being on the sideline as compared to the bird's eye view? Uh, it takes out the middleman. You know, you know, if you're calling it from the box, then you got to tell somebody um, the play that you're going to run, and that person has to process that, and they have to figure out how they got to signal that, and then they got to do that. Uh, for me, as soon as I know exactly where the ball is, down a distance, hash, all of that stuff, personnel on the field, where the inside receivers are, I call it, they're looking at me, and so to me, it just takes out that middleman when you play at a lot higher level. How similar is what the offense is doing now to what they were doing a year ago? Are they having to make a lot of adjustments, or are they kind of building on that foundation? I think them transitioning from last year has helped us um, from a tempo standpoint. Obviously, you know, came in and it's a whole new terminology, a whole new system, the way that we call everything, uh, the way that we signal. Uh, the O-line was looking and getting signals last year, so that part of it's different. But these kids are, you know, if you're ever around younger generations, they adjust, you know, so they want to be successful, they're eager to learn. And um, I think they're having real fun. We're in a good spot right now, and uh, just got to continue to get better. All right, thank you, coach.